हेलो स्टूडेंट्स इन दिस लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट द डेरिवेशन ऑफ इफेक्टिवनेस एंड टी फॉर अ पैरल फ्लो हिट एक्सचेंजर ओके सो इन द प्रीवियस लेक्चर आई डेमोस्ट्रेटेड दैट हाउ टू यूज द एंटी मेथड ऑन अ हीट एक्सचेंजर ओके बट इन दिस लेक्चर आई एम गोइंग टू डिराइव इट सो इट इज माई रिक्वेस्ट टू यू दैट यू मस्ट वॉच माई दैट लेक्चर फर्स्ट सो दैट यू विल हैव द नॉलेज ऑफ वेरियस टर्म्स रिलेटेड विद एंटी मेथड राइट नाउ आई विल डायरेक्टली टेक द टर्म्स एंड फॉर्मूलाज एंड देन प्रोसीड फॉर डेरिवेशन ओके सो वेन वी यूज एंटी मेथड फॉर अ हीट एक्सचेंजर इन केस फॉर एनी हीट एक्सचेंजर only inlet temperatures are known in heat exchanger when two fluids enters then they have their internal inlet temperatures so only inlet temperatures are known then we use entew method and no exit temperature is known okay second thing the effectiveness of a heat exchanger i have already told is given by effectiveness epsilon equals to ch thi minus thu upon c mean thi minus tci and that is also equals to c capital c, c. This, these are capital c h and uh, this capital c mean okay capital c c t c o minus t c i upon c mean into t h i minus t c i okay over here what is this capital c is that is equals to the product of mass flow rate of hot fluid and specific heat of hot fluid similarly what is c c the product of mass flow rate of cold fluid and specific heat of cold fluid and what is c mean over here out of these two whichever is smaller you will apply over here and what are these THI, THO, TCI, TCO. THI corresponds to the THI corresponds to temperature of hot fluid at inlet. TCI corresponds to temperature of cold fluid at inlet. Similarly, THO corresponds to the exit temperature of hot fluid, and TCO corresponds to the exit temperature of cold fluid. Okay. And we also know that uh, the heat transfer rate by LMTD method is given by Q equals to U A LMTD. U is the overall heat transfer coefficient. A is the area associated area through which heat is transferring, and LMTD is logarithmic mean temperature difference that is given by theta two minus theta one upon log theta two by theta one. So for a parallel flow heat exchanger, because we are doing this derivation for parallel flow heat exchanger, for parallel flow heat exchanger, theta two is is equals to THO minus TCU. Okay, and theta one equals to THI minus TCI. Now Q equals to U A theta two minus theta one upon log theta two by theta one. So we can cross multiply it. Log theta two by theta one equals to U A theta two minus theta one. Okay. Now writing the values of theta two and theta one for parallel flow, T H O minus T C O is the theta two temperature difference of hot and cold fluid at exit, and in place of theta one, it is T H I minus C C I is equals to U A again. Theta two is T H O minus C C O, and theta one is T H I minus C C I. Okay. So this is our equation one. LMTD, the LMTD method I have written in a different way. Okay, so this is a rearranged equation of this equation. Now we know this thing that in a heat exchanger, whatever heat which is dispensed by a hot fluid Q H is equal to the heat gained by cold fluid. Okay, and Q H is given by what? Capital C H T H I minus T H O, and Q C is given by capital C C. TCO minus TCI. Okay, both are equal. This is called as heat balance of heat exchanger because whatever heat which is dispensed by hot fluid is equal to cold fluid. Now you go through these two equations, equation one and equation two. What you see over here, these are two equations. Okay, and since we know THI and TCI because NT method is applied when we only know the inlet temperatures, so THI and TCI are known. So only two things are unknown. Those are THO and TCO. Okay, so there are two equations and there are two unknowns. So we can solve it by substitution. So that's it. So what we'll do? We will substitute and then we will culminate with the final derivation. Okay, there are two equations and there are two unknowns. Only outlet temperatures are unknown, inlet are known. So equations are two. So we can solve them. Okay, so let's proceed. See, first of all, what we can do? We can write this equation one like this. What is the difference? You can see over here T H O minus T C O minus T H I minus T C I. Okay, so this can be written as negative outside. L H is still same. T H I minus T H O plus T C O minus T C I. How? In case you this minus goes inside, then the here T H I is negative. In case minus goes inside, it is negative. Here T H O is positive. In case minus goes inside, T H O is positive. Similarly, T C O is over here. In case minus goes inside, it is negative. Here also T C O is negative. Okay, so in case minus goes inside, T C I is positive. So here also when minus goes inside, it becomes positive. Okay, so just I have rearranged this. 
RHS of this equation. You can see just negative outside, then inside I can write like this. Okay. And we know this thing that capital C H T H I minus T H O is equals to capital C C T C O minus T C I. This we have already, I have already done, just I have repeated this. Okay. Heat dispensed by hot food equals to heat gained by cold food equals to Q. Okay. So Q H equals to C H T H I minus C H O, Q C equals to C C T C O minus C C I. Okay. So in place of this T H I minus T H O, what I can write? I can write Q H by C H in place of this T H I minus T H O. Similarly, in place of this T C O minus T C I, I can write Q C by C C. So that I have written over a Q H by C H in place of this, in place of this Q C by C C. Negative outside. But we know this thing that Q H and Q C are same. We can write Q over here. So Q we can take this Q can come out from this bracket. Ultimately, will be cancelled. So our final formula becomes this. So LMTD formula can also be written like this: log THO minus TCO upon THI minus CCI equals to minus UA one by CH plus one by CC. Now we will apply the substitution. That is, see from this equation two. In case I am taking out the value of THO, okay, then it comes out to be this. You can do this exercise. THO take taking at uh, left hand side, rest of the things at right hand side, then. I will get this. So this THO put the value over here. So finally, uh, it is equal to THI minus CC upon CH in the bracket TCO minus CC that I, I have written over here, and minus TCO is already there upon THI minus TCI equals to this. Okay. Now one trick we have to apply that is add TCI as well as separate TCI in this argument of log. So what that I have done? Just what what, what I have done? Added TCI and separate TCI. So add a TCI, separate TCI, because in overall I am adding zero to it. Now I can rearrange this equation like this. See, I can take THI minus TCI separately, and then minus TCO minus TCI can be written in bracket like this. Now in case I take out this TCO minus TCI outside, then in the bracket I will get CC by CH plus one because both are negative. So minus TCO minus TCI. Can be taken outside, so inside this CC upon CH. Now, in case I take the LCM, then I can cancel these two because this is TSI, THI minus TCI upon THI minus TCI. So this will come out to be one minus TCO minus TCI upon TH minus TCI in the bracket CC by CH plus one equals to minus UA one by CH plus one by CC. The RH is still same like this. Now we know this thing that CC TCO minus TCI upon C min. THI minus TCI equals to effectiveness. So this TCO minus TCI upon THI minus TCI can be written as effectiveness into C min upon CC. So in place of this TCO minus TCI upon THI minus TCI, I can write effectiveness C min upon CC. So that I, I have written. Okay, that's all. Our problem is solved. The reason being, you can see over here that all the things are known and no temperatures are there. If except this effectiveness, all the things are known. We know what is C min. We know what is CC. We know what is CH. We know the overall heat transfer coefficient of heat exchanger. We know the area also. Only unknown is effectiveness. So in case all the values are kept in this formula, we will get the effectiveness. And in case we get the effectiveness, then in the effectiveness, what happens? Only unknown is the exit temperature. You can see once effectiveness, you know, then you can find the exit temperatures. Okay. So our problem is solved here. Okay. Yet we can make some rearrangements. For example, in case I remove log from LHS, what I will get? In the RHS, there will be e to the power. Whatever this term is, it will go in the power of e exponent. Okay. Now further, this effectiveness can be written as effectiveness is kept at LHS. Rest of the things at RHS, I will get this. Okay. Now let us suppose one case that CH is C min means out of CH and CC, CH is C min. So in case CH is C min, so in place of CH, I, I will write C min. In place of this CH, I will write C min. So in that case. Uh, what happens? See if this C min by C C goes inside. Ultimately, I will get one plus C min by C C. And here also, in case I am taking out C min one by C min outside this bracket, so inside it one plus C min by C C I will get. The same result can be obtained in case I take C C as C min. You can do this exercise. I leave it on you. In place of if C C becomes C min, then also we will get the same result. You can do this exercise by your own. Okay, so this is what the effectiveness formula for a parallel flow heat exchanger. In case U A by C min is called as NTU, this is called as number of transfer units. Okay, and C min by C C is denoted by capital C. Then simple effectiveness for a parallel flow heat exchanger is equals to one minus e to the power 
minus n t u in the bracket 1 plus c upon c plus 1. So, hope by this small derivation you would have understood that how to derive the effectiveness n t u for a parallel flow exchanger. Like same you can do the exercise for counter flow also. So, thank you.